Привет, товарищи! I am Prolet, and welcome back to yet another video uh, on the Revolutionary Network. Um, this is a video by PragerU, of course, uh, on why people hate conservatives. So let's just get right into it. I think that's the most effective way of doing it. Why do you hate conservatives? Well, let's not say hate. Let's say dislike, because you don't really hate anyone. You may dislike them because they want to ban abortion. Conservatives say they're all for freedom, but when it comes to a woman's freedom to choose what she wants to do with her own body, they sing a different tune. You may dislike them because they oppress people of color and deny the fact that America is systemically racist. Conservatives say that everybody is equal regardless of race, and that racism has little to no effect on the daily lives of people of color. So, they just ignore the issue altogether. You may dislike them because they don't believe in climate change. Scientists keep telling us we're overheating the planet, and conservatives don't seem to care. They're more concerned about profits than people. But what good is money if you have no planet to spend it on? You may dislike them because they're obsessed with guns. How are we ever going to stop gun violence if we don't get guns off the streets? And how are we ever going to get guns off the streets if conservatives block every common sense gun law? You may dislike them because they're so intolerant. What's the harm of calling somebody by their preferred pronouns? Why can't conservatives just show some compassion instead of obsessing over every kind of behavior they don't like? You may dislike them because if they got their way, they'd get rid of democracy and establish an authoritarian theocracy. Okay, I get it. Can you just like get to the part where you're gonna critique every other way of thinking, or at least defend your own way of thinking? Bye-bye separation of church and state. Hello fascism. After all that, you might sum up conservatives with one word. Ugh. If any of this resonates with you, I get it. I've been there. But, and this surprised me, I found they actually have reasons for thinking the way they do. Profits. That's why. Here are some of them. On abortion. To start, we can agree that no one likes abortion. Okay, interesting way of putting it. Um, if you mean the need to, like, remove a baby because of any reason, yeah, then yes, yes, we don't like that part of it. But abortions should be available because uh, both medically and financially, some people aren't uh, stable enough, also, fit, like, psychologically uh some people aren't fit to be mothers or fathers maybe they're not yet or maybe they won't be for like at any time um and if if the first uh barricades such as uh pee pills and uh, condoms break then that's a good like nice way of um saving the baby from uh all of those things that come with being alive of course, that's very nihilistic, but you know how America is. But there is a clear divide on the issue. Progressives focus their attention on the mother. Conservatives, while they have compassion for the mother, focus their attention on the baby. Now, I'd disagree with that argument. I think um, saying that the conservatives care about the baby is a bit misleading. They don't care about the baby being like happy or healthy or anything like that they just care about the baby being um because another person in their system working to like slaving away is good for them um i'd say uh, conservatives only care about the baby when it's in the womb because um when it's not they don't support like free health care or um or many subsidies for families like at all they don't support um or they don't want to fix systems that are inherently broken and fuck up ch uh, children. So I wouldn't say they care about children per se. I think they care about profits. Uh, also, progressives don't necessarily focus on women. They sometimes focus on the baby too uh, in those circumstances that are... Um, what if the mother lives on the street? Uh, what are they going to do? Are they just going to, like, try to keep the baby? What if uh, the baby has to enter the uh, Child Protective Services? I don't know what it's called. 
um, like the abortion, no, not the abortion, but the um, adoption system, which is, in many cases, absolutely horrible and needs to be fixed. The conservatives don't care about it then. They see a human being growing in a mother's womb as innocent and vulnerable. Those babies deserve to be protected, since they obviously can't protect themselves. On racism. Yeah, but if their mothers can't, and, like, you've proven you can't protect, like, people in the adoption system, then why should we try to... Why should we keep trying? If, if there's still examples of that being an issue, why should we, like, disallow abortions? I think we should focus on fixing those systems, and then we can, um, like, try to introduce more people to it. I don't I don't think we should use many I don't think we should introduce more test subjects as to say. Um, because it's it's really bad for the children. Conservatives don't deny that racist people exist, but when it comes to the narrative of systemic racism, conservatives are unconvinced. Unconvinced. Well, uh in politics there are a lot of racist people. Of course it's decreasing a lot over time but um for example the people in the senate uh especially older generations usually do have a more conservative outlook on uh race and what a family is supposed to look like and uh, not just in the way of like um uh a traditional family structure but also in the way uh that people shouldn't intermix racially uh and other things of course, there are disparities in this country, but why assume that these disparities are because of racism? Because they legit are. I'm sorry to like increase my voice a bit here, but um, saying that disparities are not because of racism is like saying, oh, oh, poor people, they're just like, they're, they're not a product of, of capitalism. They just became poor. Yes, yes, because they can be become, they can become poor. Um, or that's a bad example, but like, um, sure, um, you can deny that those disparities are because of racism, but they quite literally are. Like, uh, generational wealth is a real thing. It's a very real thing. Good schools, good parents, good habits, and good communities would go much further toward alleviating poverty and expanding up. Yeah, but the th those things le need like funding, um, and if if they're already poor, um, then that won't happen because the way schools in America work is they get funding from their tax area, and poor areas usually don't have much to give to their schools, you know, uh, because they're poor, uh, and thus those schools become underfunded and all of those things collapse. Loving families only exist when when there's no poverty or not only, but like uh, my, my point of view is there is a much higher um, chance of a family being um, loving, let's say, if both parents earn a living wage. Um, communities form when there's not suspicion and sus suspicion is often caused by crime, and crime is caused by poverty, which is a very known, it's a very well-known fact. Opportunity than a lifetime of racial justice movements. By the way, these rules apply to everyone, regardless of skin color. On climate change, conservatives have very little faith in computer models that have been inaccurately predicting disaster for nearly half a century. Okay, interesting. Um, but those inaccuracies for nearly half a century, so 50 years. Um, I'm, I'm very interested in how you look at the world and see how everything is becoming digitalized and then you just look at um, computers and say, oh, those can't work, those have to be fa faulty, they can't, they can't tell the truth, clearly. Conservatives have a lot of faith, however, in human ingenuity to overcome climate. 
oh, oh, well, I do too, but if we're not proactive, if we're a reactionary force, then of course we're not gonna fucking overcome it. If you sit there and say, like, oh, climate change won't affect me, because cause I'm, I'm, I'm not warm even. Yeah, it's the middle of the winter. Of course you're not warm. That's not how climate change works. What is air conditioning but a human adaptation to the environment? Fun fact, air conditioning is actually worsening climate change. See Miami or Phoenix for further reference. They're also pretty good uh, examples of how climate change is affecting cities. Uh, of course, they've always been warm, uh, but like, they're getting warmer. This is not to say we should simply do nothing. Nuclear I mean, it pretty much is. Power, for example, holds so much promise as a renewable and safe energy source. I actually agree so much with this. Uh, and I don't see how people um, look at nuclear uh, energy with, that, with such suspicion. Um, I do think it does need more or further uh, development, but it is definitely a thing we need to look more into. Conservatives don't understand why environmentalists oppose it. It makes them Nor do I. skeptical. And Ooh, maybe nuclear waste, but like you can just shoot that off into space. And suspicious that the real agenda behind the environmentalist movement is not saving the planet, but giving more power to the government to control people. What? What kind of MAGA ass conspiracy theorist made this up? What? Who wrote this script? I, I want some of that shit he be smoking. Lives. On guns, we all want to live in a safe society. This is why firearms are regulated in every state. See, here in Europe, um, we don't have many guns at all. Some people have guns for hunting, um, but usually people don't have guns. On average, not many people have guns, uh, except for Switzerland, which is a big exception, but they're pretty fucked up. Um, or That depends on your view on it, but we're, I'm not going to get into that. Um, but there is like no or very little gun violence in Europe um, except for illegal firearms um, which are way less than whatever the US has. Um, gun deaths are drastically lower. Everything is, um, so to say, not to be an exceptionalist, but I do think Europe is uh, at least slightly better than the US. But we know bad guys will always find a way to get guns. Now, sure. Sure. But reducing um, guns does help. Um, because, uh, for example, school shootings, they're very much caused by uh, parents having guns and then children being allowed to or uh, being given access to those guns. If if a child didn't have access to those guns, then that would be way less plausible. You can't just, like, buy a gun, and even if you could from, like, some black market seller, uh, you wouldn't have enough money. So, like, I don't see your argument. Some people would get more guns, or some people uh, would still have guns, but the government would 100% outman them. See Chicago and Baltimore for further reference. Yeah, but like, if you make it legal to buy guns, then it's easier to get guns. If you make it harder to get guns, then you're like, it's, it's sure, it's patchwork solutions, but it's, it's way more effective than just not caring. That's why conservatives want guns, to protect themselves from the bad guys. We want guns. Conservatives. It's not much more complicated than that. Okay, um, flawed logic, but okay. On tolerance. Conservatives see tolerance as a two-way street. If someone demands to be addressed by certain pronouns and considers... That's called respect. That's not tolerance. Tolerance is allowing people to fucking exist and not being a dick to them. Uh, also, that's called manners, which you guys so highly put, like... Um, old people are always like, where are your manners? But, like, bro, 
if you can't even like use the correct pronouns, then where are your manners? It's it's just the correct way of speaking, bro. Is it intolerant if you don't comply? Conservatives wonder why that isn't intolerant. Why are a conservative's moral or religious beliefs less worthy of respect than anyone else's? Well, they're not always, but if your religious and cultural points of views are these people are not worthy of my respect or these people are not um, worthy of living, then that is a, another issue. Intolerance um, is not allowed. Tolerance is to tolerate or uh, to keep tolerance. You need to tolerate. You need to be intolerant to those who are intolerant, uh, because if you are not, then they will uh, take charge of the system and become intolerant. On a, th a bit of a modified quote by a guy. I don't remember his name. Authoritarianism. Whenever conservatives win political power, they're typically trying to cut taxes and regulations, make the government smaller, and bolster constitutional... Conservatives. Okay. Um, cut taxes and re regulations. Okay, fair enough. They want to cut taxes and regulations. But the thing is, um, some of those regulations are pretty um, important. Um, and I'd, I'd argue worker safety is above... Uh, business profits. Um, also, sometimes cutting taxes isn't a good thing, especially when they're cutting rich people taxes. Make government smaller. I don't know what you mean by that, because um, I feel like the US government is very tiny, um, especially considering states have their own rights. Uh, if that, like, I've, I've never... I've never considered my own, like, um, uh, state, I guess you could say, in uh, in Norway, its own entity in any way other than um, a administrative uh, unit to, like, make it easier to govern uh, Norway. In the US, the states are there to have their own, like, countries. They're almost their own countries. It's a federation, kind of. And I guess that's the point of the U.S., but I, I think it's it's such an outdated political model. Like, you can pride yourself in being the first, like, uh, quote-unquote, democratic republic. Um, but if you're the first, then you're probably the most outdated if you've never changed much, which the U.S. hasn't that much. Uh, bolster constitutional freedoms. Um... I'm not sure if I agree with that. I'd say some conservatives infringe on freedom of speech, but who knows? No freedoms like that of speech and religion. Th that. That doesn't sound very authoritarian. Well, that depends on what conservative we're talking about. Does it? Progressive policy almost always raises taxes, expands regulations. Yeah, but as I said, some taxes are needed, especially like on rich people who can afford it way better than everyone else. If you keep putting taxes on poor people and removing them from rich people, then like it's not going to be a good system. Also, some regulations are fucking needed, like worker safety laws, as I stated previously. Regulations increases the size of government and now curtails free speech. If you mean by increases the size of the government, infringes on uh, Texas' state rights to kill immigrants, uh, then then yes, I think that's a good thing. Also, curtails free speech. I, um, I'll refer back to the quote I said um, earlier. Um, tolerance uh, needs intolerance of those who are intolerant to keep tolerance. For if they who are intolerant take charge, then they will make the system intolerant. Um, I think that just, yeah. To a conservative, that sounds authoritarian. To me, that sounds reasonable. Well, now that you've heard a few of their arguments, do you dislike conservatives less than you did before? I dislike your smug smile, uh, if that helps your uh, question. Um, I'm gonna just see what she has to say in the last few seconds. Not even a little? I'm Amal Epinobi? Host of Unapologetic at PragerU.com for Prager University. 
Yeah, okay. Um, my thoughts on this. Um, I'd say a lot of the facts are twisted. Uh, there seems like a propaganda video, which is, sure, that's what PragerU is. Uh, it's basically just a pro propaganda channel for the uh, authoritarian right, or <laughs> I guess if you um, if you want to be like this girl, call it the conservative right. Um, I do think um, some of her points were uh, not entirely unfounded, such as the uh, environmental uh, thingy, but I don't think man many uh, conservatives agree with that way of thinking. I think many conservatives uh, disagree with climate change being real uh, in any capacity. Um, and she just seems very liberal for being at PragerU. I don't, I don't know if she's just being paid well or anything like. I don't know, um, but it it just seems very stupid. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, join our Discord. I don't know. Um, До свидания, товарищи. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.